What's up guys, Phil Britton here, and I'm sitting here with James Bradshaw from Red Paddle Co. Australia. He's a managing director down here in Australia. And um, for those who don't know, Rebecca and I are going on this massive big trip. We've uh, you know, downsized our lifestyle, creating more memories with our families, and we came across the Red Paddle Boards. And let me tell you, I was just really blown away with the quality of them, everything that you spoke about it. So I was like, how do I get involved? How do I get this board and take it around Australia and you know, enjoy what it is with my family? But before we do that, Tell me a little bit about Red Paddleboard Co, mate. Yeah, thanks, Phil. So Red Paddle Co, we've been around since 2008. We are now pretty much, well, we are the leading biggest paddleboard company in the world. Evolution's been amazing, but it now all fits into this bag. You can, super, super durable. Yeah. Like, super durable, yeah. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, the demonstration you gave us uh, was amazing. But if, if, if I was going to ask you, what would be the major differences between Red Paddleboard Co and more of a sort of everyday go to BCF type? One is, is the quality. It takes like three days to build one of these boards. Wow. There's no glue, heat welded PVC, fused together, drop stitch which is inside the board, the heat welded fuse, we can fit twice as much of this in compared to most of our other competitors, the stiffer it becomes. It's not just about the quality of the board, it's about the lifestyle that Red. Yeah. It's a, it's a family. Red that's is right. creating a family. It's just not a one-off. Once you join Red, yeah. you're Red for life. And, that, and that's sort of what appealed us too. You know, like we've got the three canoes for the three kids and, uh, you know, the kids go out and have fun, but then Beck and I are, uh, are sitting on the beach watching those guys have fun. Maybe we want to go across the river or wherever it may be as a family and go together. I found um, utilizing two boards for a family of five has, has worked really, really well. Um, is that you see families use these boards for, I mean, you're talking about snorkeling and stuff. That's just a great thing. You can take your young kids out snorkeling, introduce them to, introduce them to the water, they can hang over the edge with a snorkel and a mask. You can catch small little waves with the kids. My daughter learnt how to surf. These boards are incredible. Compared to anything else on the market, the best inflatable, but probably the best paddle boards in the world. Um, so I'm really looking forward to taking these across Australia with my family, going on adventures, making memories, and doing all those type of things. But uh, before we get, uh, before we finish this particular interview, maybe do a little bit of a demonstration on some of the stuff. Yeah. What would you say to someone who said, "What size board should I use?" Weight, height, um, and what they want to do. With paddle boarding, width is the key. Yep. So the wider the board, the more stable. Good all round board, like the 10.6 here, 10.6 foot long by 32 inches wide. You want to start with the width and then go to the length because length gives you glide. There's no um, secret that this is the leading paddle board in the world, the biggest yep. selling paddle board. 32 wide, 10 foot 6 long, you can't go wrong. If you're a little bit heavier, 100 kilos, you might want to go the 10.8 by 34. Yep. Perfect, guys. Well, there you go. We're going to go and check out these boards, how they work, how they inflate, and uh, get some tips and pointers on how to best use the stand-up paddleboard because, uh, you know, if, if you've never been on them, you want to get some of the best tips. So stay tuned for that next video. If you are interested in red paddleboards, guys, and you want more information or want to purchase one, somewhere around this video, there'll be a link or a button or something. Just post that, guys, and, and go check it out. Speak to you soon. Thanks, guys.